At Timber Green Farm we grow our good trees as long as they're healthy and vigorous. This big red maple has a, a big seam in it with a carpenter ant invasion, so we're saying it's mature. So we're going to fell it, use the bore cut method. About 1,500 board feet in this one tree. The logs are so heavy it was really hard to move them, but I was able to load them up. Two logs made a load, bring them to the sawmill, but the butt log was too big for the, for the wood miser. So we have a two power head Alaskan sawmill made by Granberg International. Here we're using an 066 on one end and an 036 on the assist end and we're able to slab that up. Here's a dead white oak and today we've got the Husqvarna 575 on the pulling end of the saw. So we just put a guide board on and start sawing slabs. Here's the first cut. Now Megan's going to run the, the steel end of this. And we're able to take this old dead log and saw right through this crotch and make some beautiful slabs. That's really hard wood, you know, a dead white oak with right through the crotch grain. But you know, we, we learned to watch the pile of sawdust as the, the best indicator of how the, the cut's going. There should be a steady stream of coarse sawdust coming out of there. S sawing at an angle can, can help make you know, the saw a little bit faster, a little smoother. Here we're going to unscrew the guide board, slide it down, and finish up the cut because the log's longer than our guide board. This, is, this log's a little small for this big mill, but you really appreciate the power of two, two big saws when you're sawing something hard like this. We got a couple of beautiful book matched slabs here with crotch grain. This will make some beautiful furniture. We have a little 12 volt sharpener that Granberg sells to, to sharpen the teeth. Next we'll put it in the kiln, dry this and make some beautiful furniture. And thanks to Dave Washburn, our videographer for this segment.